Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a briefing from wwwcentral moscom about the Ramadan 1440 moon sighting, which is coming up, inshallah, in the first week of May. Let's proceed and talk about what is going to happen. This entire presentation will be in English, inshallah. This is the situation of the brand new moon on the 4th of May 2019. On most places, in fact, the entire globe, apart from Turkey, this will be on the 28th of Sha'ban, so it has no relevance whatsoever. And as I've explained before, then in Islam, the start and the ending of the Islamic months is based upon sighting of the moon and not merely the birth or the presence of the moon. This new moon will be born on the 4th of May at 22.45 BST, which is basically the time in London. Most of the time, all of the locations eastwards of uh, London, Europe and Asia and stuff, the sun is already set. There's nothing to sight. And as you can see, the entire uh, the uh, half of the earth is red, which means this moon cannot be seen. It's after the sunset. It's completely irrelevant. This moon cannot be sighted at any location on earth. And you're not going to be looking for it because it will be the 28th of Sha'ban. So nothing's going to happen. This is the projection from NASA of the new moon that day on the 4th of May and as you can see there is no illumination whatsoever. This moon cannot be seen. It's not going to be seen. There's no reason to see it because it's on the 28th of Sha'ban. Let's proceed and take a look at what happens the next day. So on the next day on the 5th of May 2019 this moon can be seen in parts of the continent of Americas by the naked eye and also by the telescope in some places if the weather and the look and, and the um, conditions and stuff are perfect. Um, what you can see is you can also see this moon in parts of Africa by, you know, using a telescope if, if the conditions are absolutely spot on and perfect. This is on the 5th of May, so this will be on the 28th of Sha'ban. Now, uh, what I'm going to say might sound controversial. But when we look at this moon in parts of Saudi Arabia, we look at Riyadh, we look at Makkah. In Makkah, this is a 17-hour moon and it is visible on the sky for 33 minutes. When I've tried to project it as to what this moon is actually going to look like, then um, from what I can tell, there is a dis there is a possibility that this moon can be seen using optical aid in perfect conditions and depending on experienced moon sighters, it can potentially be seen in Saudi Arabia if the conditions and everything else is perfect. There's a potential possibility of that. When it comes to America, this moon right here in Miami, as you can see the, the illumination, uh, due to the illumination and the conditions of the moon, this moon can be seen with the naked eye in parts of Americas. So this, as I, I've, I've shown this by a green tick, that this is basically America and this is Riyadh, or sorry, near Makkah, uh, and there's a possibility this can be seen um, if uh, it is sighted on the 5th of May. There's a po possibility of that. In uh, United Kingdom and in parts of Morocco and in, in South Africa, this is the chart that Rifaqul Ulama create, and basically this moon cannot be sighted uh, with the naked eye at all in any of those countries. It's, it's not, a, not a possibility. Um, now, going back to this, um, and if this moon is claimed to be sighted in Saudi Arabia with a telescope, etc., I'm sure some people will, will replay this clip of mine. If you look at the Royal Greenwich Observatory, they're showing it as a code of E, which means it cannot even be sighted with a telescope. I don't think that's correct because they, uses, they use the Yelp criteria. Um, and yeah, that was 20 years ago. And today, um, depending on, on, on the quality of the sighter and the quality of the optical aid which is being used in the conditions, there's a possibility it could be seen in Mecca. Um, so uh, if they watch it uh, using the right optical aid and equipment, cannot be seen with the naked eye, there's a possibility that Ramadan might start in Saudi Arabia and the 6th of May might start. However, all the details that you get, there are two problems as I've repeatedly indicated in many videos before, Saudi Arabia does not have a public moon sighting system for 12 months. That's the first problem. So even if someone wants to follow Saudi Arabia, they cannot. Secondly, the information that comes out of Saudi Arabia is not verified. So you have no idea. So someone might say, moon has been sighted in Saudi Arabia. That's about it. You have no idea who sighted it, where it was sighted, what equipment it was used, and so on. So I am here discussing the academic theoretical possibility of sighting. But whether that's possible and what happens, on the 5th of May, I have no idea. But as far as the most of the world is concerned, Asia, 
um, and so on, and even Europe and, and Africa. Uh, this moon is not going to be seen on the 5th of May because they don't use in, in England and in Morocco and South Africa, they use the naked eye. So uh, Ramadan is a possibility. It will start on the 7th of May. But when it comes to America, there's a possibility they might cite it on the 5th of May for Ramadan to start on the 6th of May. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.